Today here on the 8th floor at Emory University, we have our, we're having our 4,000th transplant. It's an extremely important moment. We've been looking forward to this for a long, long time. <laughs> we had our first transplant here in 1979, and we were the first institution in the state of Georgia to have a, a bone marrow and now stem cell transplant. So it looks like we're getting a transplant, huh? Yep. At last. At last, right? <laughs> and ultimately, an excisional biopsy determined that he had mantle cell lymphoma. There's so much work that goes in to the transplant and that moment when we're in the room with the patient and the transplant's going in, it really is just a special moment. I see it as the final treatment of eradication of the mantle cells and us going forward without looking, looking back over our shoulder. Hello, sir. I didn't even have a family doctor at the time. Went to the doctor and he diagnosed me with the uh, multiple myeloma. I mean, we have been able to, with our supportive care, with our better, uh, better medications, really decrease the risk of transplant, decrease the side effects of transplant. And by doing that, we can open up transplant to a lot more patients. Well, I'm hoping it'll put me back like I was years ago. Now that we have newer ways of doing transplant, we can have patients in their 70s who otherwise in the past had no curative option of therapy come here for transplant and have the potential for cure. Your chemotherapy is still in your system breaking down cells. I'm getting uh, a donor transplant, an unrelated donor transplant. Four, five, six, seven. From the first chemo, I was terrified when the doctor told me I was, I didn't want to do it. And he kept saying, it's not going to be like that this time. You're going to, it's going to be different. So I trusted him and we did it. It's just been just like a cakewalk. It's just really, I don't want to make it sound easy because it's not, but compared to what it was 10 years ago, it's amazing. I'll have the information about um, the, your blood typing and the donor's blood typing. Okay. What do you feel like this transplant is going to represent for you? Um, time to spend with my granddaughter, my family. Be there when hopefully when she graduates and gets married. She's three and she keeps me going. The ability to get a transplant really represents uh, hope for survival, hope for getting back to their life, to have all of this in their past and have a normal and healthy and long life. 4,000 people that get to be with their families and get to go on with life and get a new chance at life. Coming to Emory and being involved and being taken into the program and everything's managed for you has uh, really helped a lot. The opportunity to come here has been a great one for us and we feel like we're on the road to recovery simply because we're here at this facility. We have patients as young as in their teens, all the way up to patients in their mid-70s. Like, I guess, most patients, uh, you had reservations to begin with, but these uh, folks over here uh, put you at ease, and you can tell they're professionals and uh, you get a confident feeling that things are going to be just right.
it is amazing. The, the technology of this, which has been around for now 40 years or so, how it was developed that we can actually uh, wipe away someone's ability to make blood and the whole immune system and then replace it, just is an um, unbelievable technology that I think is still advancing. And that transplant represents their hope. went to his primary care provider and they started doing all the testing, 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 and ultimately an excisional biopsy determined that he had mantle cell lymphoma, like Mickey Mantle, and um, that is one of the more difficult um, lymphoma cells to uh, eradicate. So we were, it was not what we wanted to hear at all. <laughs> over the moon. <laughs> I see it as the final treatment of eradication of the mantle cells and us going forward without looking, looking back over our shoulder. the drugs that are available to push the body to regenerate those cells quickly um, is, has really reduced a, a three-month stay to a, a three-week stay. How is this experience compared to that first transplant? Like night and day like night and day the drugs with the nausea there's been no nausea i had pizza for lunch yesterday <laughs> it's just been just like a cakewalk it's just really i don't want to make it sound easy because it's not but compared to what it was 10 years ago it's amazing it's amazing i was terrified when the doctor told me i was i didn't want to do it and he kept saying, it's not going to be like that this time. You're going to, it's going to be different. So I trusted him and we did it. And it's, it's mind blowing. It is the difference and the lack of fear. I'm getting uh, a donor transplant, an unrelated donor transplant. Um, I had a family member and it didn't, he didn't match. So we had to go with an unrelated donor. So it makes it a little more difficult, but Hopefully, we'll just take it one day at a time. What do you feel like this transplant is going to represent for you? Um, time to spend with my granddaughter, my family. She's three, and she keeps me going. She's an amazing child. I don't think I could do this without her. I'll be there with hopefully when she graduates and gets married. And we waited 10 years for her. After looking into it and talking with my oncologist and, and doing some research, we figured we had a better chance here than at a different hospital in Alabama. So we thought, go where our best chance is. You know. I had uh, multiple myeloma, and I had a, a stem cell transplant. All right, I'm on day, day two today. Like, I guess, most patients, uh, you had reservations to begin with, but these uh, folks over here uh, put you at ease, and you can tell they're professionals, and uh, you get a confident feeling that things are going to be just right. Had not been sick a day in my life, all of a sudden, about two years ago, I was out fishing and uh, sneezed one time, and it just, it was, it caught my back, and I knew from the indication that there was something bad wrong. Now, I didn't even have a family doctor at the time. Went to the doctor, and he diagnosed me with the uh, multiple myeloma. Well, I'm hoping it'll put me back like I was 10 years ago. Uh, where I can get out and enjoy my hobbies and fish and 
I have a nice workshop and enjoy the family. This uh, is a nice hospital. It has a good reputation and uh, it's known all over the, the southeast as a place to go to if you need this kind of service. But we're very happy to um, have come here because we, we had several different choices. Our doctor told us that we could go different places, but this is the one we chose and, and uh, partly because of the reputation and because, partly because we knew several people that had been here before that had come in and had been successfully treated and had gone home and are living normal lives today.